hey everyone welcome back to trade pro fx so today we will be focusing on something very extre extremely very important so securing your derived trading account is very important so i'll be showing you step by step how to do it so on your derived debit or your a trading account you come to your account setting here you can see this where i'm pointing then click on that area then scroll down to the lowest point you can see this is account setting the profile where you have your personal details the languages assets verification and also the security safety so what we are mainly getting concerned uh, is the area which is known as this area here the two factor authentication that's where i want to you to focus so you just click that point and then uh, from these two factor authentication or the 2FA you have heard some people saying talking about the 2FA using this Google Authenticator app so after you see the these 2FA uh, two factor authentication you will just go then to the Google uh, Play Store where you can download the Google Authenticator, uh, Authenticator app so you see the here you can see uh you can see how it tells you the two-factor authentication the two-factor authentication protects your account with 2fa uh, each time that uh, you log in into your account you will need to enter a certain password and the authentication code generated by the 2fa app on your smartphone so with all these setups so these you can either scan or press the code below here so with this you can secure your account that each person maybe who wants to log into your account you will uh, uh, will be required to input a certain code you see these codes uh, these are that's the code we will use to put it in, into the google authenticator app and uh, we will uh, secure uh, our account so i'll be demonstrating to you uh, as i am doing to this so you'll just go to your uh, google uh, play store then after downloading the google uh, authenticator app or open on open up the play store on your phone or the mobile device that you are using uh, so you'll just go as normally you download your apps just type uh, google authenticator it will just come out like this so you'll just pick this one the google authenticator as it is shown as it is shown here so once you find it go ahead and uh, uh, install and uh, then uh, after you install you and by the way for if you are a, an iphone user the steps will just look the same so except uh, uh, that you'll use the app store not the play store so you can see it's very simple and uh, this is how you will be viewing your code so you can see it uh, it will be appearing like this so that code is the one that these codes are the one that you uh, input so after now that you have now your google authenticator it's time now to go to your derive account uh, to connect uh, the google authenticator with derive so you just click open so i'll just click uh, this google authenticator uh, open after i've installed everything so after going there so uh, you'll just go to you'll just go now to the derive where you will find the qr code that was being shown on the screen so it sometimes it's just a code so i'll just be using the code below not there uh, i'll not be scanning the qr code so now that you now that when you open your google authenticator app there is an option you can see uh, to, you can always find the scan qr code so let's wait for it to load uh, so this one will be, help you so much uh, you, you can either add uh, the authenticator code or scan uh, scan that code so let's uh, let's uh, let it open it it's taking some time yes it's my network so in either way the app will uh, always display the six digit code that re refreshes every 30 minutes so uh, after you you put that uh, code it will always reflect on uh, your 
uh, your account and makes it to open so let's uh, it has opened so this authenticator app here this one you can either scan this uh, it's it's up, up to you you can either scan that or you can use the the code uh, which is this one here so after you pick that code I'll just copy that code and now go back to derive after I have now copied that code and then after we move to derive let's wait you'll need now it will you'll now go to set up out to input the correct uh, the correct uh, way so I just want to show you how to set it up you can see it's uh, deranged so after you go you pick you will just put uh, your authentication code like that so you can see I've put everything and it says uh, you have enabled the 2FA for your derive account to disable 2FA please uh, so I don't want to disable I just want it to be like that so already I've secured everything I've already secured that account so in case I load again and want to get into uh, this account I will have to input these uh, codes the, the six the six code uh, along with my uh, along with my password if I first put my password uh, then I've been asked I'll just been asked to put the authentication code the six digit code so to prove that it's me who is using that account this means that if someone has your password they can't access your account without this code which is usually generated on your phone so you see i'll just put my my uh, my logins there then it asks for the verification code so this one uh, it, it is very nice so if you if you talk about let's talk just about uh, this google authenticator like if you replace your phone during maybe the setup the derive may offer recovery codes if so write um, you can write these codes and keep them somewhere to secure your password but now this one helps you to maneuver uh, it offers a backup you can also backup or using your emails but uh, this uh, google authenticator definitely receives your recovery code so it's very good uh, and if you have already done this congratulations because you are securing your account very well and after you are finally done you just know that uh, you are safe and uh, it's very difficult for you to get hacked or any uh, any sort of thing unless you give out those the uh, uh, good code those codes from the authentication app remember this two-factor authentication is one of the simplest ways to keep your trading account safe and it's always it only takes a few minutes to set up so don't wait go set it up now and if you haven't kindly go set it up for your safety and uh, if you have found this video helpful may don't forget to like share and subscribe 